Hello YouTube. Uh, here's a response to one of my videos. Basically, I made this video a while ago now, and this was supposed to be one of two or three videos, but I got lazy and didn't make any more. And I'm still lazy. <laughs> I can't be bothered editing anything. So I'm just going to go through the videos and pictures I took when I was making it, and I'm just going to talk you through it. So, uh, basically in this video here, what I've done was I got a set of Logitech speakers and uh, I'd ordered some parts. My plan was to change them from being computer speakers into a standalone Bluetooth audio system. Uh, so watch the first uh, video to get an idea of what was happening. And uh, now I'll show you what I ended up doing. So um, this is actually the board that I, uh, I got from eBay, the Bluetooth decoder board. Uh, so here what I've done is I've desoldered these jacks. Um, this here is this is actually the Bluetooth chip, or the Bluetooth sub board, I guess you could say. Uh, Alright, so next picture. Alright, so here I had soldered on the power, uh, some cable for powering, uh, some cable for uh, line out, and some cable for line in. Alright. Uh, Alright, now this is the sub of the, uh, the speaker set. So I just measured and made a mark where I was going to cut to put the board in. Drilled, cut out the hole, and the Bluetooth board fits in. Now I made a mistake here. What I should have done, and what I might do if I ever get the chance, if I'm ever bored, is I should have made a uh, MDF box to go inside, so that if we go up, so that this hole isn't just a hole. What I should have had was an MDF box built inside this, so that was encased. So any air from the sub doesn't get out. Because what's happening now, the air from the subs coming out through the USB port and the SD card slot, etc. So the sub doesn't sound that good. Uh, so if you're doing this, put a box around the inside of it and glue it all so no air gets through. Okay. Uh, now this here, this was the board inside the speaker that had volume knob. So as I said in the last video, the volume knob was broken off. These were trim pots. Um, so I end up uh, I end up tidying these up. Uh, this cable here, this is the big D plug uh, kind of connector that um, this sends all the, the signal from the speaker into the sub and into the amp and everything. So what I ended up doing was I desoldered all of this. I soldered on some ribbon cable. And then I soldered that onto the main board of the uh, amp. So that's the main board of the amp where this connected in. So I plugged this in and I used a multimeter to work out which wire went where. And then I soldered a wire onto there. And then I hot glued it all and I soldered this onto the other end of the board. So that's that soldered on there. Here's the board. I fixed up all the trim pots. And that's uh, the back here. This is where it's all being desoldered. So at this point, I then soldered on the ribbon cable onto there. Now this is the underside of the board, so the trim pots are uh, are under here. Now this here was where the audio came into the system. Uh, because it was a 5.1 system, there were six channels of audio. So what I've done is I joined them all up because I just want it to be stereo. So these are joined, the commons joined, and then the, the rights joined. So left, common, and right are all joined up. And then all I did was soldered wire onto these points and sent that to the decoder board, or from the decoder board. So the sound comes out of that and then goes to all six channels. So there's that uh, all soldered up. Here's a, here's a video I took testing it.
So anyway, that's that working. Uh, so then what I had to do was rewire the speaker that originally had the volume in it. So what I've done here is the wiring that goes from the speaker, I've soldered on directly to, in the, on this lid there was a blue, oh, sorry, a red and a black wire, and uh, I soldered them on, and they're still audio out. Originally what was happening was the audio would go down these, uh, down some of these wires, into the um, amp, get amplified, and then come back through the cord. So all I've got to do, since I removed the board, was solder the speaker directly to the wiring here, and then it picked up the, uh, the channel of audio from there. Alright, now this is the back plate. So, to turn everything off and on, I ended up putting a power switch on the 240 line. So, 240 line comes in, goes to a power switch, and then that uh, goes back into the unit. So there's the power switch, all uh, shrink wrapped, so there's <laughs> Nothing that you, I could have touched to get a nice shock. Um, all right. So this here, uh, the amp was running at 18 volts, and the decoder board is 12 volt. So I purchased the voltage regulator, and I found where voltage was here. So this is actually the back of a capacitor, and uh, so here I ended up connecting the 18 volts into this and then I get 12 volts come out of it and then that goes directly to the uh, power for the decoder board and that worked perfectly fine okay so I've installed the mp3 decoder in the front Put some music on here to test converted this from the speaker that had the volume into just a normal speaker although it's still got the big plug it's only carrying sound the control board that was in this speaker is now here, which will be encased inside of this. Here is the voltage regulator that powers this. Here's where I uh, tapped into where the signal used to come from this speaker, through this cord into the main board here, now goes directly into the board to the ribbon cable. So, let's test. Put a power button in. Let's turn it on. Power light there. So, ended up working. Uh, anyway, so this is how the system looks. Um, pretty neat, I guess. And I think I've got one more video that actually shows it in use finished product. Although I still do want to take this out, put some wood behind it so air doesn't get out. But it's actually pretty good. So, Oh yeah, sorry. So I tried to stop the air getting out. I hot glued behind the ports and even hot glued all the buttons in. Since I have a remote, I didn't need the buttons. It did help a little bit, but not enough. So I really should have just put a bit of wood behind there, like a, make a small wooden box. Uh, there, there's the hot glue around the SD card slot. There, you can hear the, uh, the air getting out. So basically, that's it. Um, whole thing works. Um, yeah, it, it works okay. I do kind of wish I would, would have finished it. Put that little bit of wood around it, like I said, but I got lazy. And it shows because this is how I'm making the video. Instead of actually editing it, I'm just filming it again on my phone. So, uh, there you have it.